Hello, my name is Adam Wynn Rich, and this is a video about a crack they do in Switzerland called the Kruzli Strike, which translates roughly as Little Cross Crack. And they use a different kind of whip than what I'm going to use. I'm using some six foot Simon Martin whip lay stock whips that I usually practice with. In Switzerland, they use something called a Furman's Geisel or Coachman's Whip, which usually has a long, very flexible handle, maybe about three foot long or so, made out of twisted. Ah, uh, shoot, hackberry, I think it is, and then a thong made out of hemp or uh, linen rope. But anyway, I'm going to do what I can with my stock whips. So the uh, Kruzli strike, basically in one hand, is going to look like this. And that's what I initially identified as the Kruzli strike, a little cross crack. And... Uh, usually, they, when they say they do it in both directions, which they sometimes do in the Swiss whip cracking competitions, they'll do it this way, and then they'll turn it on the other way, like that. Now, they do it this way, as far as I'm concerned, that's just an overhead volley as seen in most Australian whip cracking. And speaking of Australian whip cracking, some of it does relate to the Crucially Strike. So I've learned a couple other cracks from learning Australian whip cracking routines. One would be this one, where you do a flick, and then roll the whip back, boom, to the outside, you get another crack. So that's kind of the start of the Crucially Strike. And then if you bring it back forward again, that gives you three cracks, which uh, I usually would do in a routine called uh, Simon's Lightning. And to do the one direction of the Crucially Strike on one side, you just keep continuing that pattern like so. And I've uh, been writing with my German pen pal, Gerhard, about uh, whip cracking and other stuff, and me trying to line, learn the German language. And I posted a video earlier on my Instagram of me doing the Crucially Strike, and I only did it this way. And then Gerhardt wrote back and said, no, you have to do it, or I don't have to do it, but the Swiss nowadays do it in both directions on both sides. So that would mean you do it this way in one hand, like that, then the volley, then switch the hands, you do volley, and then. the Crucially strike on both sides in both directions and it kind of does relate to the four corners you could throw the four corners in there as a transition between doing say this Crucially strike or upside down volley and the regular volley you just go four corners Crucially strike the other side back to the four corners Maybe some of the whip crackers from Switzerland will see that now and want to try to learn how to add the four corners to doing the Crucially Strike in both directions. And of course I do have two whips, you're probably going to want to see if I can combine that with uh, <coughs> two whips. Uh, so for me it would be easiest just to do volley in one side and sort of this up time, upside down volley, Crucially Strike in the other. And uh, just for the heck of it, we'll try the Crucially Strike like that in both hands, see if I can do it. I don't want to do it. There, I got a couple. That's enough. little cross crack. My name is Adam Winrich. If you have any questions, you can always email me at info at winrichwhips.com. Thanks for watching.